Hi, everyone. Your hair smells good. You ever just sit around on the couch and smell so. your family? <laughs> We're wearing our merch. Yes, merch is out. I'm wearing the long delayed Tim's Tour shirt. I'm wearing the pizza jeans, established 2007. And then on the back is all the fun fashion stuff. We have graphics of this stuff that will pop up. <laughs> Two episodes ago, we said that we would get dressed up for the finale. Yes. And then it was the Paris episode, but it wasn't the finale. Right. And we didn't get dressed up for right. that. But I, I think we should commit that for the finale, we will get dressed up, we will play a drinking game and you guys can join. I think that would be fun because this is like 30 episodes so it deserves a big celebration. So we will commit to that. We will plan the filming session at night. Okay. I think that won't be for a couple weeks though. I think we still have like a good half of season three. We'll have to do the math. Sonny's gone, and he's right there, but he's neutralized. Yeah. And we're gonna continue watching The Hills. The Hills. Previously on The Hills. Heidi went to Colorado to get some space from Spencer. I just need to clear my head before I can even talk to him. But when Spencer followed her there, yes. things went from bad to worse. This is where we are. Right. She's 21. And <sighs> is that, that's her luck. Yeah. You're 21. <gasps> I found out Brody had a new girlfriend. He's a girlfriend? But I did my best to get over it. Lauren, have you seen the Eiffel Tower? No. We can do that whenever you want. And after two years... Is she drinking blood? She was Probably some sort of fruity martini. Myself in styling. Sometimes you still do see away, yourself in styling. I do. But when you come home, everything is different. Oh my god, like what? Mm. New candles. Oh my god. New candles. New paint color. Hello. Oh, chill, guys. I want to hear about it. How was it? It was a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Like, and my body never really fully switched time. So now that it's getting darker, it's like morning for me, right? Yeah. Did you get any time to play, or was it all working the whole time? I had a little bit of play time, but not really. We saw the Eiffel Tower at night with the the band guys. They went to oh, the, the Eiffel French Tower. Band. Yeah. How is that? <laughs> She's nice. like, yes, yes, Sony BMG. Yes, really nice yes, to like yeah. get away from LA for a little while. Mm. You know what I mean? Just kind of like remove myself and get away from Brody and realize there's other guys out there. But I think I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm just over. Deep it. side parts were really in style at this phase. Did Whitney have fun too? I think Whitney doesn't want to work for a Team Vogue anymore. <gasps> Ooh, did you say that? I don't know. Okay. That seems a little bit aggressive. Dirty window, it's all illuminated. The words that you cannot find. Return for something in the stairs. So far, you can almost stay. Release your all the stress. I asked if people liked us uh, singing anymore and got a lot of responses. Mix or too many responses for me to go through. It. <laughs> I don't even know. Mix, yeah, mix. Some people are like I skip it. Some people are like I live for it, and that's the spec. That's the full gambit. Interesting spectrum. All right. I feel like we need a poll. Like we need a this or a that, so we can just get a very clear answer. You're right. You're gonna get me like that. Back to LA. Back to LA. Mm, not really a clever title. <laughs> just sort of. No, your elbows on the outside. All right, I love you, I love you. Do you have a second to yeah. talk? Come So I wanted Nervous? to talk to you about- My hairstyle. <laughs> There's a spun. I think I was trying to be air experimental with mm -hmm. the eclipse, mm. as I always am. Mm. It's just kind of my thing. Mm. And I, I was at this phase in my life where I thought like a little bit of volume right here mm -hmm. worked for me. So that's what I think I was thinking. I wanted a little volume. I wanted a little tussled, natural, lived in hair. Mm. Natural and lived in. I probably slept with my hair in a bun, mm -hmm. a little wet, mm -hmm. and then let it out the next morning because that's the extent of how I knew how to do my hair. Okay, I love it. 
I think that I've had a great two years and I feel so honored to have worked here, but Are you I feel like since working here, I've learned I kind of want to be in styling and I don't know that I'll have that opportunity here. I've kind of been behind the scenes and always assisting. Right. And so I actually got a call for a job opportunity with Kelly Catrone here in Los Angeles. So, so nice. I wanted to get your blessing first before I decided to make a huge decision and I didn't ever want to burn any bridges and I wanted to get your feedback. Well, two years is a natural progression to wondering where you're going to go next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's time for you at this point to start looking at the opportunities that are available to you. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great one. And styling is what you want to do. I don't have that position open for you. Right. And if I did, I would love to keep you. Right. But of course, you have our blessing and mm -hmm. recommendations will be made in your favor. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I wonder if Teen Vogue was upset that they were pulling the... Is Lauren still working there, though? For like a second, and then she comes over to People's Rev. Mm. Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh. Song is aggressive. I know. Amber. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, it's different, right? Jeez, uh, here's the files. Cool. What looks amazing? Her cubicle? Oh. Are they in a new office? Oh, her f colored folders? That looks pretty amazing. Her bangs? Her bangs look amazing. Amazing? <laughs> Good, Kimber. Is he busy? You know, I'm getting back from Colorado, just trying to figure everything out with Spencer. I haven't really, like, talked to him or anything since I've been back. So She's like, I don't care. Is he going to move out, or...? Yeah, I think he needs to, like, come over and get his stuff and... Okay. You know, I thought it would be out by the time I got back, but I guess not. It's like the dividing of the things. Right. It's going to be such, like, a heart-wrenching thing, even though I it want is. him to move out, like... They went... They, they took the story so far. Yes. <laughs> they went from, like, having issues with the wedding plans to now he needs to move his stuff out. Right, like, and it's not a breakup? Like, too much. Too much. Too much where it doesn't make sense. Like, they could have made this seem more real. That's such pinkies. Such pinkies? Yeah, I'm putting that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to be easy watching yeah. him, like, pack up his stuff. And... No. Are you going to be cool with him if he starts to want to see other people? Or do I mean, you feel no. like you want to? No. Yeah, explain, like, I Heidi. I wouldn't see other people. That was kind of like, okay. I don't even want to really break up. I just okay. need my space. I need my friends back. Like, I gave up so You're much for You're not getting your friends you know, back. Like, I literally gave up everything for him. I would just be careful, though, because... It sounds like you're going through exactly what I went through with Danny, and I was kind of the same way where... Kimber, you, know, you don't, don't know Danny. Yeah. And he would kind of use it against me. Be like, oh, well, you're not my girlfriend, so... You know what I mean? Uh, like, that's uh, not that bother her in her eye. Territory. Feels like Heidi came up with a storyline. She's so, like, I'm going to pretend to get rid of Spencer so that I can get my friends back. I mean, something, because they're not on the show. Yeah. Like, they are not on the show. Okay. Fake killer song, Stephanie's, Stephanie's apartment. apartment. Like, what could be worse than that? Nothing, thanks. That's, that's a great game plan. Go get it as worse as possible, and then it can only get better. Well, let's find the bright side. There's no bright side. I'm beyond annoyed that I have to move out. I would have rather never moving in, knowing I was eventually going to have to move out. Like, I just don't even know. Well... If you're going to be living here, and if Heidi comes back and she wants to hang out with me, I mean... Go hang out with her. Uh, just don't bring her here, because she'll be like, oh, Spencer, space, and now you're in your sister's condo trying to hang out. Oh, my just... God. Seriously. I'm dead serious. Just keep her away from me, because I don't want her to think that I'm not giving her space. But how am I going to hang out with Heidi without bringing her near you? Sucks! And it's like, I hate dating. I don't want to start dating again. It's like... You don't have to You're date. You're even considering that? Yeah, I'm getting moving out. Yep. 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 I'm definitely considering like it. There's some playmates Playboy that chick. I left at the Roosevelt. They're still waiting for me. I'm going to date the chick on this billboard. Just kidding. I'm America's most hated person. And if I don't date Heidi, I can't date anyone ever. <laughs> How'd it go? How many different angles so of the outside of TV? <laughs> Surprisingly supportive. Really? She have new hair? 
No, it just oh. has more volume. Huh. Volume was she so in said, this episode. Yeah. Whoa, uh, volume. My blessing. Mike blessing? Blessing. <laughs> it's good. I know, and it co so, kind of like gave me the little boost to feel confident in my interview with Kelly Catrone tomorrow. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. I don't really see how I can pass up an opportunity like this. That's so weird. It is weird. I mean, it's weird? great for you. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, because it's just weird because we got hired together. I know, it's and weird. I, I haven't known this job without you. And I can't even imagine not walking in here every day and seeing you. Seeing? She's Same. not that upset either. She's this like, it'll like be fine. I actually would like to sit where you're sitting. So <laughs> no, I can imagine be that. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be fine. I'll get Jill to sit there. Great. Bye. <laughs> Say hi to Kelly for me. <sighs> oh, that makes me laugh. Well, that's the point of this, you yeah. know? <laughs> snappy, 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 snappy. We're having fun, you know? We're just... Ooh! Ooh new hair color, too, right? That's mommy! Yeah! It's actually Jeremy Scott traffic print. This place is cool. Thank yeah. You so much. It's like all a closet. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Jessica. Jessica. There were major Hi, issues I'm with winning. Jessica. Hi. Give us the behind the signs. She ended up getting fired while we were there. Fired, Jessica, for drug abuse. No, I don't spread that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't even know Jessica for stealing. You, oh, I was going to say you met her, but you weren't working here. You were working at the People's Rev in New York. She probably stole from me and I got fired. She was on drugs. Okay. Yeah, do you know her? She's the boss. Okay, I'm here to see the number one. What, what line? Okay. Hey, it's Catrones. We have a serious problem. They hung the clothes outside on Nikki's gate, and I think someone stole them. So what you need to do now is you need to figure out who the idiot is that would hang clothes on the outside of a gate, okay? Right. Okay. So I don't want to talk about this anymore. Thank you. Bye. We had crystal mirrors with daily candy. Hi, it's Catrone. Yeah, I'm going to be a Get ready. Someone made a mistake and I'm going to have fun yelling at you about it. Yeah, I don't have a door to my office. I like it that way. I want everyone to know that I talk on the phone a lot. Hi, uh, what? Uh, Who what? said you could uh, walk where I was planning on walking? Get out of here, Tommy. I gotta go. I have an interview with Whitney. Hi. Are you laughing? She's I can't smiling. hear you. So okay. It's like... She's smiling, right? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm well. Nice to meet yeah. you. Listen, I, I don't have a lot of time, so... Because I... I'm busy. <laughs> okay? I'm a busy stylist, and I do pub publicity so i'm busy okay and that means this is gonna be quick you're hired you're my vice president you're in charge of everything figure it out i gotta go oh my god the figure it out i gotta go storyline i'm sure it's all fine to say thank you for coming Ooh, you look hot thank you but we have three offices we have one in new york one those are layers in paris we produce more shows in new york than anyone we're a full service branding company. Mm -hmm. By the way, if we do decide to do this together, we would want you to come to New York and work with us during Fashion Week. Okay. Our office here is really fashion. not styling. Mm -hmm. 65. Mike, don't you think like 85% of our pulls come from, is from stylists coming into the showroom? So 85% of what this office generates. I'm a numbers is guy. Influx of traffic from stylists that are usually working with the celebrities. Okay. I mean, why do you want to work on this side of it? I think that the more Jessica's like, is. I'm gonna listen in, okay? Because <laughs> this they, isn't getting my job. They try to make us like have beef. competing, yeah. Well, at least you don't, you don't have a drug problem, so you're fine. <sighs> These I have, and the more opportunities I put myself out there for, I should take advantage. I just think working at Vogue was an unbelievable experience. I just wanted a job that uh, I could do more. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Why should I let you come work here? I could probably be very helpful in terms of whether it's, you know, stylists that come in here and pulling for photo shoots or styling for lookbooks or styling for runway shows. A lot of times the other person on the other end is just not listening. And they're, they're just, just like, I'm making my first impression of you based on nothing you were saying, just what it's inside my gut uh -huh. because I'm lazy. And so. I'm just thinking about what I'm going to say next. Exactly. She's said a lot of great things about you and she's not an easy person to please all mm -hmm. the time. I mean, we have the same kind of work aesthetic. So let's just go out on a limb. We'll just do it. Perfect. Why not? The cameras are here. Okay. I think it's really important to let you know this. Like you're basically making a deal with the devil. Who? Her? That. Making a deal with the devil. You're giving over your life. You get a whole new one. 
I'm like you probably smiled. Yeah, I probably I probably laughed or giggled or did something. Oh my god, they baked Benedict. It's like my new favorite restaurant. I'll never forget the time when Spencer said, "I'm gonna get the mo the muscle breakfast," and I was like, "Why? Because you have no muscles." And he was like, "Shut up!" I'm like, so <laughs> mad. She's never going to forget that time. She's never going to forget that time. She's never going to forget that time. She must have thought it was really funny. She's I'm never going to forget that time we did a scene outside of the apartment and I said something. Different strokes for a different She's pose. like, now I'm doing scenes with you. Are you Lauren? Oh, my God. No. I think Spencer's moving in with me. Really? Yeah. Huh. Uh -huh. So this is what you want? You don't care if he dates other girls? No, he's not dating other girls. We're not dating other people. Why, did he say something like that to you? From what I talked to him last, like, we were just gonna start over. You know, we weren't gonna see other people, we weren't gonna try to do that. Like, we were just being together and living in separate places. I don't know, people do crazy things when they're mad. I mean, I hope he doesn't pull anything because I really do. I really do love him and... You should probably make that clear to him, Heidi. No, they should keep talking through Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> A mistake can lead you to another one. I feel like I need to go on LA. It's been so long. I know. I've missed it so. I haven't really been out. I went out that one night when you were in Paris. You're gone for a week. Fine, you want to Thank you, and then, have you talked to him at all? He might be with the new girl. What is girl? the rumor that she's maybe a boy? No. So what's the air quotes around girl for? Because like she, I think she really meant to say like girlfriend, but she didn't say girlfriend, so it's just like girl. You maybe know? it's a dude though. No, I highly doubt. He's like kind of done with now. Yeah. I mean, I just really wish they were coming tonight. Oh, oh, who cares? Let's just Don't. not worry about the guys. We're gonna go out and have fun. We're both like full on single. Yeah! I know! What'd you say? <laughs> We're both full on single. I'm really happy about it. So am I. You seem happy, Lauren. You ready to go get in trouble? Mm hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. Let's go find Let's some dudes. Go. And hook up with them in the bathroom. Pizza James, Pizza James. Was that the two of them? No, I don't think so. Immediately to Ledoux. You can tell by oh, the wallpaper. Who are they hugging and kissing? <laughs> Brody and Frankie? Oh, Jared and Derek. And oh, grown up Sonny's there. <laughs> oh! They're here. That was that guy. Nick Mon. You never called him. Oh, from she's mad at me? Oh, you're mad you at me? You never called him from Paris. Oh my god. You never called him from Paris. Whoa, I don't get a hug or anything? You're really not gonna give me a hug. You're not gonna give me a hug right now. Who's your girlfriend? My girlfriend? Who's my girlfriend? Who's my girlfriend? Where's your boyfriend from Paris? I don't have a boyfriend. Oh really you don't? That's too funny, because I have friends in Paris. And don't you dare try to turn this on me. Oh no, that's what is wrong with her? What is why she <sighs> Like so they're trying to say ugh, that Brody has friends in Paris that spotted Lauren. Yeah, he's trying to make it seem like he knows what's going on too. Like she's got friends here, he's got friends there. Great. Treat me as a friend like we always were. I, am I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm excited to see you. All you, the first thing you say to me is, oh, Brody, where's your girlfriend? That is, that's ridiculous. All right, fine. Stop. Yeah, all right, whatever. Well, then I'm stopping. I'm out of here. Brody, stop. Hey. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with that. Stop, bro. Stop, Brody. Dude. Is that Gigi Hadid? Where? Gigi Hadid was like 12 at this point. Oh my god, I didn't get mine. You're not being mean, but you're not being nice. And he really came here, he was excited to see you. Do I really have to be nice right now? Yes. Why? Why not? 
And I know what you're talking about, why you're mad, but he loves you and you love him. What? Frankie. What are you talking it's not. about? It's not. The last thing I can watch is Frankie trying to convince Lauren to <laughs> hook up with Brody. Hey, am I wrong? Am I wrong? You love him. You love him, right? And he loves you. That's why you never dated. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Lo? Come on. She's getting a job with Kelly Catrone, and she's leaving Teen Vogue today. That's really cool. I mean, that'd be amazing for her. So it's like celebrity styling over there. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Thank you. You seem a little like, mm. what? Have you met me? I don't know, are you just tired from your trip? It's just weird being back. I don't, it's something, I mean, it was just really awkward seeing Brody last night. What do you mean? Did he have the girlfriend there? No. It's hard because we're all friends. We all go out and they're there all the time. I know. I don't know what the answer is. Yes, and Brody has a way of making me feel like I'm never good enough. And I hate that feeling, and I feel like I need to prove it to myself, and like that's not a reason, but that's not a good Sweetie. reason to like anyone. What? Of course you're good enough for Brody. You should be the one that has to work to get you. Oh, you have to say that because you're my friend. I think it's true, though. I'm cool. I just don't know how you're gonna stop concerning yourself with Brody when he's such a part of your life. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's be mean, I just I know. feel like we have this conversation a lot about you need to find a nice boy. Yeah. Yeah, even Lowe's like, I'm sick of talking about this. Yeah. So does Brody have a girlfriend or not? Hopefully we find out. The dog is just Pooping. flicking its onto its owner. Oh my God. Ooh. What I do without my Xbox? Classic oh, guy. Letting you have the TV. Letting, I bought the TV. You bought the 42 inch, I bought the 50 inch. They were the same price. No, they we were. just split them. Whatever, we're not arguing. Is Empires of the San your book? Yeah, that's mine. Do they really need to split up books? Uh, in what sense? In the sense that. Some behind the scenes for this scene. Mm -hmm. If it was on the city or like other shows I've worked on, we'd be like, okay, there we're gonna do a scene with them at their apartment, and like Spencer's about to move out. So like, what do you do when you're moving out? Oh, you like split up your stuff. So yeah. as they talk, they're gonna like split up the books. Oh, the books are here. We're gonna put you here, or you there. So it's all yeah. blocked. Yeah. And the action is like premeditated, and then you're like, talk about your breakup, good. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you just look, and you're like, did you hit the beat about about moving in with Stephanie? No. Okay, talk about Stephanie. Yep. I mean, you're not planning on seeing other people, right? I'm giving you your space, remember? Lots of it. Uh, you didn't answer the question, dog. Um, oh, all this stuff's good. Heidi is like trying to win an Oscar. Yeah. Enjoy your space. A Oscar. <laughs> Enjoy your space, nobody acts like this. He gave her a thumbs up? Yeah, thumbs up. Oh my god, yikes. Enjoy your space, I'm taking my merch dudes and I'm leaving. <sighs> oh no, oh he's gone. I'm gonna have one of these three coffees. Ugh, is that a new oh, angle? All right, oh. Now I'm packing in my stuff. <laughs> the parallel storylines are making me bar. I'm really happy. I'm really happy, I'm just... I have a bunch of different feelings. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm sad. I don't know how I'm gonna walk into my office and not see your face there every day. Oh, we're having like a long distance relationship now. <laughs> no, is it gonna work? We'll I make it hear, work, Whitney. I hear long distances don't really work. I hear well. that too, but we'll make it work. <laughs> you guys never yeah, speak again, right? We do so much together, what? No, she comes to work at people's oh, revolution. Right, right, right. <laughs> When, the first night we worked at the Young Hollywood party, when Heidi and her friends crashed the party. She should have known it then. I was just about to say, we should have known, known then that she was bad news. <laughs> She's gonna come for you now. Mm -hmm. So funny. So funny. So funny that neither one of us are laughing. I think I'm good. 
Oh. Trying to decide what else. You wore the same bag as you wore on the first day. That is weird. I find that very strange. Isn't that funny? It's so weird. I love the this first bag. day I met you, you wore that bag. What bag? Show the bag. Show You're the bag. She's not even listening to you now. I think I got everything. I think, think. I got everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got everything. Mm -hmm. Call me later, okay? Oh. I'll help you pick out what you're gonna wear for your first day. Gosh, and you have to curl my hair. Okay. okay. I love you. Wow, man. You and Spencer should do a scene. Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're in a good mood today. That's our neighbor's car. <laughs> Is it? It is. I know. Your palazzo pants. Love them. Want them. I have. Textured. Layers. Dungeons? No. It's just that I didn't. That was the look. Honestly. To have layers and then like long mm, hair. Wow, helicopter like, shot. That's cool. Next time. Next time. Next time on the swills. Kelly Catrone. Hi. Hi. Hi, it's me. I'm in New York. Models come line up over here. Got out of it's order. Totally out of order. What the f is going on? I just want to say I'm really sorry about what happened at that club. There's still something I just don't trust about her. I don't trust her either. I'm just being nice to her. She's a nice girl. She can be friends with Stephanie, who right. is Spencer's sister, but she can't be friends with me yeah, because of Spencer. So weird. Give it up, Heidi, dog. It's because you pretended like you didn't do anything. So you go to New York yeah. to produce a behind the scenes fashion show. I don't produce a behind the scenes fashion show. You know but what I mean, I'm, but you're a pusher. I, I, I work at the Sass and Bide fashion show, which was a big Australian brand. But yeah. you know, the, do, you, do you see the point that I'm driving at? That's exactly what you did at Teen Vogue. The pushing. Yes. Yeah. So. No styling. Yeah, where's the styling? Let's see if it comes up next season. Love you guys. Sorry for my toot. I just, this is me. No, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, I love you. I love you too. How's my posture? It's good. You know, I'm leaving the house for a meeting at an office today. Like actually at an office a building. Building? Building. <laughs> Not Teen Vogue. What do you want to say to everyone? I wonder what's in Teen Vogue now. Um, I want to say... Does Teen Vogue not exist as a magazine? I think it's online. Not... What if it was all in the virtual hills? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Peace in the streets, guys. That was episode 20. We're going to move on to 21. Mm. Does that work? Y yeah. 21. We went from 20 to 21. Might mean a few words in England. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you tell us, guys. <laughs>